Okay, so here we are. We're going to do an example of volume between two solids. We're going to find the region when I rotate this little region here between 2x and e to the x minus 1 about the x-axis. And I know I'm rotating here, so I'm going to put my little rectangle here. I'm going to rotate that bit around the axis. And so the shape it's going to be is going to be some kind of the cone type idea that you see here. In order to do it, I'm going to go from this point to this point, and I have to find those points of intersection. And then I have to find the volume. And the volume is going to be pi times the radius squared, because that's the area. In order to do it, I'm going to take the outside radius, which is 2x squared, minus the inside radius, which is e to the x minus 1 squared dx. Because if I think about it, when I rotate this around, I'm going to get a washer, where the outside radius is the outside function, 2x, and this inside radius is this inside function, the lower function, e to the x minus 1. So it's always the upper minus the lower functions squared that I do it. And make sure it's squared minus the squared. My only problem now is I need to find these points of intersection. Our calculator will help us with this. I've taken the liberty to graph these functions already. And I'm going to find the points of intersection. And so I find the first curve, second curve, and my guess, they intersect at 0. And the other one is going to be, and I'm going to guess here around 2. And indeed that is, so 1.5256. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit this screen. And if I click X, it remembers that was the value of the intersection. And I'm going to store that into alpha B. So what, I can remember what it is without actually having to write it down. And so I'm going to go from 0 to 1.2526. I can type this straight into my calculator now. If I go to math number 9, I'm going to go from 0 to alpha B. And, oh, I'm going to put pi in here first. I'm going to insert pi, insert pi. And now I'm going to do my top function. If I look at my functions, is y1. So I'm going to go alpha trace, which is the y1 squared minus y2 squared. With respect to x, I hit enter, and my area, my volume is 2.3, so I get approximately 2.34 units cubed. That's revolved around the x-axis. Okay, so that is what we do for revolu volumes of revolutions between two functions. Let's now look at if I consider revolved around the line y equals 3. Well, what happens there is here is y equal to 3, and I'm going to rotate here. And so this is my radiuses are going to be here and here. And so I have to think carefully about this. I know the intersections are the same, so 0 to 1.25 pi. My outside radius now is going to be this distance here. Now if I think about it, this is 3. This value here is e to the 2 minus x. So the whole distance is 3 minus that gives me this. So it's 3 minus e to the x minus 1. squared. That's this blue radius here. Subtract the same idea. It's going to be this distance 3 minus to the line is 2x leaves me the radius that I'm left with dx. And so now I can, can take this and plug this into my calculator to find the actual volume. And so if I go pi Math, 9, 0, 2, alpha, b. 
open parenthesis, 3 minus y1 squared, subtract, open parenthesis, 3 minus y2 squared, dx, I should get something that doesn't make sense to me. Let's see, minus 3.7. Oh, I found my mistake. I put these functions in backwards. This should be y2, and this should be y1. Alpha, y1. Enter, and my volume will be 3.7. Four, and that is a positive volume of revolution. And so when we are revolving around horizontal lines, we have our little rectangles that are perpendicular to that line, and it's dx's.